I'm Dylan Black. Aaron's Butterfly Run Ottawa Gatineau is coming uh, Saturday, October 14th. Brewer Park is going to be the location for this very important uh, run. The first time here in Ottawa as well. With us right now, uh, we have the lead event coordinator. Uh, her name is Rachel Samulak. Nice to have you here, Rachel. Thanks for having us, Dylan. We also have Amanda DeGray, uh, DeGrasse, uh, event coordinator with this uh, incredible run. Yeah, thank you. For being thank here you. On our program one more time. Uh, Rachel, you were here was it early summer, spring? Yeah, I was in the spring. <laughs> and we spoke about uh, the importance of this event and your story. You have an incredible story. Uh, so maybe we should begin there. Sure. So my husband and I have a toddler who is three. We lost our first pregnancy at 10 weeks in 2013. And with our son, Gabriel, we had hoped that it would never happen again. So he's great. Mm -hmm. But in 2015, we were expecting our next son. And at 20 weeks, everything had been fine during our pregnancy. And with Aaron at 20 weeks, we found out that he had no kidneys. Mm. So this condition means that he would not survive long after birth. We decided to continue our pregnancy. We found out about the perinatal hospice program, which is at Roger Nielsen House. And it's a program for parents who experience the same type of situation that we have a diagnosis is given during pregnancy, and they will decide to carry to term. So the program there has doctors, nurses, social workers. They supported us through our pregnancy. They came to our appointments with us. They followed up after Aaron's passing. They also helped us make memories at the hospital when he was born. So wow. we had 100 minutes with him after he was born. What an incredible story. So now you're taking this tragedy, obviously, and, you, and you're, you're going out in the community, our community, and, and raising awareness. So what exactly are you raising awareness for? So what we're raising awareness for is the stigma around pregnancy and infant loss. So the run is raising funds for Roger Nielsen House, and that's a side benefit for us. But the main goal of the run for us is to actually raise awareness for pregnancy and infant loss. It's something that people don't like to talk about. Oh. It's something that we hide because, you know, you don't want it to happen to you. But unfortunately, pregnancy loss occurs in one in four pregnancies. So so it's something we're trying to spread the word about in the community. That's an exceptional statistic too. I didn't know it was, it was that. Uh... And when it happens to you, you feel so alone until you finally speak to someone about it and you hear them say, oh, it's happened to me too. Mm -hmm. And then you feel you can really create that community and bond with someone else who really understands what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the one other thing that we realized is that the access to resources really, there are so many great resources out there, but you don't find out about them. So a lot of the frontline healthcare workers don't know about these resources or they don't refer you to these resources. So unless you're fortunate to get a referral early, quite often you won't find out about the programs that are out there until later. Okay. Uh, Amanda, this is this is the first time in Ottawa, Gatineau, uh, but it's been taking place for a number of years in a different part of Canada, not too far away. Yeah, so we, it was in uh, Quinty and uh, that's where Rachel found out about it and saw it online and she said, you know, we need to do this here in Ottawa. We need to raise awareness. Rachel and I connected a few years ago through my company Little Lotus Yoga where she was taking yoga classes and myself having experienced miscarriages before as well I felt it really important to bring more awareness to the Ottawa area and help support people here but also to raise funds for Roger Nielsen's house. Okay fundraising you're doing a bunch of fundraising obviously uh, to, to make this a, a huge success so you have a couple of events or a couple of things going on for fundraising yeah. where do so you want to start? For fundraising we are selling these beautiful handmade butterfly wings Wonderful. at the Three Sisters Bake Shop which is at 2211 Arch Street so they're $30 a pair we will have them at the run as well so they'll be for sale there and then the other thing that we're doing we have a craft night coming up this Friday at the Three Sisters Bake Shop from 7 to 8 30 and it is a craft night for women and it's just a fun night out it's with DIY Craft Co so you okay. can go to our website and find out more information there lots of different styles the butterflies and yes. lots mm -hmm. of different colors so and boy and girl ones so for Halloween your little boy or your little girl could be a butterfly mm -hmm. oh so sorry did, did you mention then that so they come with sort of a uh, so they come with an oh, elastic yes. so you can actually wear them did you actually so. say that and I just for some no, reason my memory is not bad this here is okay. my son Gabriel's pair, so he'll probably cry if he sees them here. <laughs> he'll think you're giving it away. <laughs> but then you can tell him they were as seen on TV. Exactly. That's mm -hmm. always super fun. Uh, you also have uh, the butterfly boxes as well. Many. Yeah, so our friends over at Mom Friends have recently received a grant to create the butterfly boxes and what's going in there are pregnancy loss support information for people in the Ottawa area who have a pregnancy loss either early on or late in pregnancy to help give them support and resources in the Ottawa area so they don't feel alone. Mm -hmm. So in partnership with Mom Friends, the launch of this bo these boxes are tomorrow from 7 to 9 p.m. in the Byward Market at the Heart and Crown. Okay. So we're going to be celebrating the project and also be giving more information about what's going to be contained in the boxes, so the different oh, resources. Neat. Okay, well that's great news. So we, we obviously should be talking about this run as well. 
Um, Amanda, would you like to tell us all the details? I mean, where, where exactly is Brewer Park, if people yeah, are Yeah, so Brewer Park it. is just across from Carleton University, so in the old Ottawa South neighborhood. That's where the run's going to be happening. You can find us online at Aaron's Butterfly Run or our Facebook page for all the information. It's a family-friendly event, so you can bring the kids out. It's not just for adults. There's going to be lots of things for them to do. We're going to have some great little vendors as well, and it's going to be a great morning on Saturday, October 14th. Okay. Yep. So the other thing to mention is so we have a five kilometer and a one mile. Okay. They are not timed. So this is totally walkable, runnable. It's not, it's not run. a competitive race. Exactly. <laughs> so 5K, 1K, obviously a family friendly. People encouraged to perhaps bring out strollers and, yeah. and children. Yeah. Uh, but so what time exactly is this getting underway? So the opening ceremonies are going to be at 9.30. Mm -hmm. The five kilometer run starts at 10. And then the one mile starts at 10.45. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there um, a, well, a cutoff date for registration and an amount that you should probably like a, a amount you have to raise to be a part of this? No, so you don't have to raise an amount. There is a registration fee. So if you join a team of eight or more, it's $10 a person. Per individual, it's $20 and $30 per family. And 100% of those proceeds go to Roger Nielsen House. Okay, so Roger Niel Nielsen House obviously helped you out a great they deal. They helped us out a great deal. And they're helping out other families as well. Uh, how does it feel to know that uh, you collectively and then your team are also helping out so many uh, families, parents that were in this situation? I think for us, the most important thing is that reach out. We fortunately found out about the program early enough, but for others who don't, it's devastating to know that this was there and then they didn't find out about it until too late. Okay. So they also have a parent loss support group. So that's for anyone who's experienced a pregnancy loss or an infant loss, mm -hmm. and people can take that up to 20 years after their loss. Mm -hmm. Okay. I imagine, is there a hopeful goal? Or because this being the first time in Ottawa, are we just hoping to see what comes in? And or do you have a goal? We would love to see 500 people out for the day of the event. So keep registering, bring your families out. It's going to be a great morning for everyone. And fingers crossed, the weather cooperates. Okay. And of course, all the details. And if people can't uh, perhaps participate, they can donate at your website. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Simple as that. ButterflyRunOttawa.ca. Uh, Rachel and Amanda, thank you. I mean, obviously, you. you've both been through quite a bit in your lives, and you're taking this tragedy and, and your uh, these tragedies, and you're obviously helping out other families, so you must feel pretty good about that. That's great. Thank you very much for being thank here. Thank you. Uh, we have more Daytime Ottawa coming up on Rogers TV in moments.